Welcome everyone and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we will be looking into Alibaba once more, but today we're going to look at growth projections. In this video, we're going to look at the business and you're going to see how much revenue and how much profits will Alibaba be making in, let's say, five years time. Because in every video I made, I always made conservative assumptions about this business because we always discuss, is it a good buy? Yes or no. But today we're going to see if you're a shareholder of Alibaba, how could the future look like? Because we've always been very conservative and in this video we're gonna look at different scenarios so without further ado let's get into it so we're immediately gonna start off with looking at the numbers before we go into the projections into the estimations of how the future will look like I think it is very important to take a look at the past because the business has of course developed a lot over the last six seven years uh, so to say and you can see that right here on the screen so let me first put this in USD it's already in USD as you can see so it's eight and a half billion in revenues in 2014 and right Right now we're looking at around 130 billion so really an enormous difference you know enormous growth but I think it is very important to bear in mind that most of this is e-commerce growth but right now if you look at the future of this business it's going to be much different things than e-commerce it's going to be cloud for example that's going to contribute a lot to profits especially right so uh, and I think if we go into the projections, which we will do a little bit later in this video, you'll also see that there is a big difference between revenue growth and profit growth. So that's basically very important to bear in mind. The numbers you see on the screen are all based on e-commerce. Now, one thing I would say about the business, about the, the gross margins, especially uh, if it comes to profit, of course, we see a big difference here, right? Here we see 75% margins, which is just exceptional but of course it went down quite dramatically and right now it's around 40 percent gross margin which is definitely not superb i mean 40 percent is okay it's a healthy margin but it's not not as big as let's say pindu or duo who has a margin of 60 percent uh, and on the whole 40 percent is just a little bit low relatively to the past two of alibaba now of course this has mainly to do with size right also competition so these two things make sure that alibaba needs to compete alibaba gets bigger and so of course prices and margins go on the whole a little bit down you would expect they might go up because you have more power as a business more more uh, let's say with apple for example you saw that margins went up over time uh, but this actually appears not to be the case for alibaba what i would say though is that in the future the margins can definitely go up because like i said this business is very much in transition even though e-commerce is still an enormous part of this business the cloud for example is going to play an incredibly important role and that the margins are huge i mean when we look at the cloud the margins might be like 80 or 90 percent gross so that that is really really something different and that will definitely bring overall margins up once again right now the cloud what i would say is losing money still or just barely profitable i think it's just some profitable last quarter but basically that's because they are reinvesting so much money right so the cloud is making a lot of money but then they reinvest everything so aggressively that well the net income is is negative this also has an impact on gross margins of course they did a lot of acquisitions also speculative acquisitions so to speak so but for example the cloud it's a great thing that will definitely drive growth for this business in the future but over the past five years it has just been making losses right because it needed to start up stuff like that so all the more reasons that these margins go down a little bit uh, but also definitely i believe that this this can be turn around right the margins right now are rather stable and i would say that some of the new projects such as the clouds will drive margins up now also what is quite important is that alibaba you have this big core business as you can see right here but you also have interest in investment income and that drives the numbers too we said that these investments overall go up quite a bit with with well basically huge exceptions right look at this 2016 8 billion the year before 1.5 the year after 1.3 so big big difference there but usually you see that the line is basically upward trending which is always good right now what i would say is that the numbers are definitely lower of course due to a fluctuating portfolio in china the stocks all went down significantly in 2021 and so that's why the numbers are a little bit uh, lower for alibaba at this point but of course that that portfolio of equities will eventually bounce back at least so is the expectation right we, we trust the management of alibaba that they make good investments eventually it will bounce back it's just stock market logic uh of course uh, yeah basically assuming that they bought great businesses 
Now let's dive right into the predictions because this is of course what this whole video is about. So bear in mind we just looked at the numbers and we know a lot of that was driven by e-commerce. Now to, to give a full picture here you see all the past years too, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2. And then uh, 22 is, of course, expected, even though a lot of these quarters are already known. Bear in mind, uh, the, the fiscal year for Alibaba is different. So they are already in 2022, reporting things in 2022. I think 2022 ends for them in three weeks, and then they are going to 2023. So uh, you should basically look at these numbers. 2022, that's basically where we are right now now and as we can see there is a little bit of a change going on with what is expected and, and what is going has been going on in the past basically so first if we look at 2016 we see great growth in in let's first check the revenue okay great growth in revenue and we see basically that this revenue is slowing down now why is this revenue slowing down of course due to the business size once again these numbers are in dollars look 2025 200 20 billion in revenue that is just absolutely phenomenal and right now they are already doing 100 billion something like that so really really crazy if you think about it it's a really really big business and they only came from 15 billion in 2016 of course it is logical that you see deceleration here it wouldn't be normal for a business to produce let's say 50 percent growth year over year with a 200 billion business of course that's not realistic so it's logical that we see uh, growth slowing down but i think what's most important here is the ebit the earnings before interest and taxes because this is such an important and we will see this a little bit later in the video such an important impact on free cash flow and free cash flow basically drives stock performance return right if the business makes a lot of cash flow they can uh, do acquisitions they can buy back shares they can do dividends they can do a lot of things that return value to the shareholders so ebit is extremely extremely important and as we can see right now we have had a couple of rough years, still growing, of course, but somewhat rough in terms of Alibaba, right? Because Alibaba is this big, profitable company that is growing quickly still. Um, but still, we see that we have a little bit of a rough year here and there. We see that 20, uh, 22 is a little bit higher than 2021, but really 6.7% is not that much. But what is really interesting is that the projections are that in 2023, 2024, and 2025, all of a sudden profit will boost up and let and look at look at this right much more than revenue so that means that margins need to go up margins need to go up in general and that's what we discussed uh, just a, a couple of minutes ago and i really believe this this will happen due to the new projects such as the cloud which really will drive up um really will drive up profits and margins now, I think it is important to bear in mind that the margins of um, the cloud are so substantial that the cloud in China is incredibly small right now, but is incredibly quickly growing, around 40% a year, right? And at the same time, bear in mind, Alibaba is the biggest cloud provider in China. So this is huge for the business. And as we can see, this will definitely drive profits in the upcoming three, four years. And I think we will see a change, all right? So we will see e-commerce was the past. Of course, e-commerce is still very important. It will still be growing. You still have a lot of potential there. Don't get me wrong. But I think the share of cloud in terms of profit will definitely increase a lot because the margins are simply so high. So even though e-commerce is this big segment and will be growing, cloud just has such substantial margins that it will take a big cut of the profits at some point. Cloud is huge. China is so underdeveloped in the cloud and this will change definitely quickly. And as we can see, this, this will be priced in or expected returns will go up because of these profits that, that are so uh, so expected to grow in, in this in enormously rapid manner, basically. Now, on the screen, you can see the discount cash flow model. I've shown this many times. Basically, what we try to do is we try to predict the free cash flow of the future and based on that, make an estimation of the worth of the business. So I've made many videos about this. I'm not going to discuss these numbers because I made so many videos about it. So please, if you're interested, check the other ones out. Basically, what we see is that there is a huge gap between market value and intrinsic value based on conservative assumptions. This is 12% growth EBIT, right? year over year we've just seen this might be expectations are like 28 27 percent right so that's a huge difference now 
I always say when you want to buy a stock, make conservative assumptions because if you make optimistic assumptions, it can only be worse in reality, right? Than your expectation. If you make very conservative assumptions, the only risk you're 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 having is that you're gonna make more money than expected. Now that is a great risk I would like to have on my side. So always be conservative. But in this video, we're gonna check what if this becomes true, right? What if these expectations? were to pop so right now we see with very conservative assumptions we already see this big difference in intrinsic value and market value but what happens if we drive up the return let's say the expected 28 percent will become reality what happens all of a sudden we see that the cash flow increases enormously and that will result in around uh, a, a bit much bigger intrinsic value prices we can see right here an enormous jump now of course this is huge like i said I don't expect, when I buy a stock, I don't expect anything. I just try to look, is it a great business? What is it going to do? And then I try to be as conservative as possible, come up with a price and try to pay that price for the business. Now, Alibaba right now is just incredibly cheap. And so you, you want to figure out, right, is it still cheap with conservative assumptions? As we can see, the answer is yes. Um, but if this were to become reality, which is definitely possible, once again, of course, you have this huge upside. Uh, but once again, don't expect anything when you buy a stock because you always need to be patient. You just want to buy a stock, great business, and do research on a business, right? If the quarterly earnings come out, you, 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 you read them, and your reports, you read them. But then you just push it aside. You're not going to look at the price too much of the stock. Uh, nonetheless, it is great to see that there is huge potential here. And I think... Uh, this, this video gives you some insight in what it's going to look like in the upcoming years because cash flows might be going up much more than people expect right now. Especially what's very interesting is that margin, that margin could increase. So in, in the comments, I want to know, please let me know what you think about this. Do you think margins of Alibaba could increase? Now, that was all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.